Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Deputy Commander, 7th Air Force Brigadier General Ryan Keeney, welcome to the 607th Air Operations Center Change of Command Ceremony, where Colonel Jason Hokai will relinquish command to Colonel Matthew Getcute. We are pleased that you are with us today to share in this important ceremony. I am Technical Sergeant Jocelyn Smith, your narrator for today's event. The Change of Command Ceremony is deeply rooted in military tradition and dates back to Roman times. The ceremony symbolizes a transfer of command responsibility and accountability from one individual to another. This transfer of command is physically represented by passing the guide on from the outgoing commander to the new. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party, the playing of ruffles and flourishes, the presentation of the colors, and the singing of the Republic of Korea and United States national anthems, followed by an invocation by Chaplain Tulloch. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet land of the free 
and the home of the brave. Let us prepare for the invocation. Most virtuous God, originator of knowledge that climbs beyond the heavens and tumbles through the multiverse, may your continuing presence be a witness to the changing of command for the 607th AOC today. Pour your peace and your calm and rest upon each member. With grateful hearts, we recognize the remarkable character and quality of Colonel Jason T. Hokai. Thank you for his skills to build a humane culture and empower all at to all levels. He is a precious treasure that has been a blessing to all. As he moves forward, may he find abundant goodness, restoration, and joy. O oh, Divine One, thank you for the professionalism and beautiful, compassionate leadership of Colonel Matthew C. Getke. As the stressors of the 607th mission space pace ever increase, the creativity and nefarious intent ever wavering. May Colonel Getke and his phenomenal AOC team be granted all resources, training, ingenuity to be successful every time. Inspire us all to serve each other with commitment and drive. O Holy One, also bless the families of these two men, for they have not journeyed this alone. Bless Dawn and Kathy and Milana and Harris and Megan and Anne and John and all their loved ones. May they be protected and given patience and tons of fun. Be our guide to lead us all back to our loved ones, complete in mind, body, and spirit. Amen. Thank you, Base Honor Guard, Staff Sergeant Watson Grant, Senior Airman Hurst, and Chaplain Tulloch. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment and recognize a few of our special guests. The spouse of the Commander 607th Air Operations Center, Mrs. Don Hokai, and their children, Milana and Harris Hokai. The spouse of the incoming commander, the Commander 51st Operations Group, Colonel Catherine Getke, their children Megan, Anna, John, her parents Joe and Nancy Knopp, and their family nanny, Annalyn Barayuga. <laughs> Attending virtually, the parents of the incoming commander, Mr. and Mrs. Jean and Lisa Getke. And attending virtually, the parents of the outgoing commander, retired Colonel Dave Hokai and his spouse, Carol Hokai. I would also like to take a moment to introduce our distinguished guests. The Commander, Korea Air and Space Operations Center, Brigadier General Select Lee Hyun Hee. The Commander, 51st Fighter Wing, Colonel William McKibben, and his spouse, Mrs. Amber McKibben. The Vice Commander, 51st Fighter Wing, Colonel Paul Davidson, and his spouse, Mrs. Megan Davidson. The Command Chief, 51st Fighter Wing, Chief Master Sergeant Joshua Trundle, and his spouse, retired Senior Master Sergeant Valerie Trundle. The Commander, 51st Maintenance Group, Colonel Todd Wydra, and his spouse, Mrs. Ratana Wydra. The Commander, 51st Mission Support Group, Colonel Kyle Grego. The Commander, 51st Medical Group, Colonel Jennifer Vecchioni.
the Commander, 3rd Battlefield Coordination Detachment, Colonel Jeffrey Munn. The Commander, Air Support Ops Group, Colonel Scott Morgan. The Commander, Space Forces Korea, Lieutenant Colonel Joshua McCullion. And finally, we would like to take this opportunity to welcome all commanders, good neighbors, chiefs, first sergeants, and Republic of Korea partners. We are glad you could join us today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the presiding officer, Brigadier General Keeney. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome. Beautiful Friday here. Uh, love to spend it with the uh, Sabres of the 607th Air Operations Center. Today, I'm standing in for the Commander, 7th Air Force, Lieutenant General uh, Scott Ploys, who really wishes uh, that he could be here. He'd much rather be here uh, and, uh, and be able to celebrate with Coach and Radar than be in meetings. Uh, but on his, uh, on his behalf, today we get to uh, change out Sabre 1 as we pass from, uh, from Coach to Radar. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all the, the leadership from across the Korean Peninsula that's with us here. Our, uh, our partner, Minus One, uh, Brigadier General Lee, uh, to our uh, 7th Air Force and, and C2 and our uh, and 7th Air Force and AOC teammates uh, who are here, as well as all of our, uh, our commanders, our partner organizations, our Army teammates, commanders, chiefs, shirts, distinguished guests, uh, and our good neighbors who, who have joined us, thank you for coming out today. I'd especially like to uh, thank Dawn, uh, Colonel uh, Hokai's wife, who's here today with their uh, two kids, Juan and Harris, who are joining us. I'd also like to thank the parents who are joining us uh, from long distance, Dave and Carol, uh, who are watching from sunny Niceville, Florida. Arizona, Arizona, okay. Uh, so to all of you, thanks for your support uh, and for the many sacrifices you made uh, for our nation. Uh, especially Dawn, thanks for, uh, for uh, helping Coach out here. I, I know that uh, this has been uh, a challenging schedule. Coach has, has worked standard Korea hours, which I don't know what we call that, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., sometimes calls at night. Uh, well, Dawn has been working on kind of CONUS hours, so they've been like They've been phase shifted uh, for, uh, for quite a long time. Uh, Dawn uh, actually uh, uh, separated from the Air Force here. Uh, last, she used to uh, fly F-16s as well. Last flight was in the Fabulous Flying Fiends about, I don't know, a couple years ago. I'll, I'll just say a couple years ago. How about that? Um, but uh, like many military spouses, uh, she's had to, to, uh, to put her career on hold on times, uh, at times and, and make sacrifices. Uh, to not only support Coach, but uh, support the family. Obviously, the two of you successfully navigated those uh, strange schedules uh, and uh, were awesome parents to uh, Milana and Harris. Um, so I re recently got to go to the graduation of uh, Osan Middle High School, where Coach uh, was the featured speaker. Uh, I think his bio lasted longer than his speech, but it was amazing. Um, where uh, Milana was, is a proud graduate of uh, the class of 2023. Uh, this next year, she's going to be taking a gap year to spend time with the family, uh, learn how to drive, work on cars, pursue acting, and uh, learn real estate, which just sounds awesome to me. And Harris is going to be a, a sophomore starting at Niceville High School, uh, hopefully in the band. If, if anyone's ever been based at Eglin, Niceville is like one of the premier high schools in our United States, and their band is awesome. Uh, supposedly going to the Orange Bowl Parade this year, which uh, we'll all be watching. It'll be at like 4.30 a.m. on a Monday here. but. Uh, Looking forward to seeing uh, uh, Harris marching in the parade. I know these uh, last two years have been quite a challenge uh, for the family, but I'm convinced that uh, all three of you, uh, the love and support uh, that you gave uh, your dad and your husband, uh, played a big part in a successful command tour. Next, let me move on to the, the Gackies, uh, so uh, to Taboo, uh, as well as uh, Megan, Anna, and John. Hey, John. Uh, who are uh, here with us uh, for today's ceremony. Uh, it's great to uh, get to spend another uh, two years with you, and uh, thanks in advance for all the support that you guys are gonna give to your dad over the next couple of years. And most importantly, to the men and women of the 607th Air Operations Center, thanks for joining us on this special day. 
there really is a saying uh, about all the air and space operations centers. If you've seen one of them, you've seen one of them, right? They're all handmade wooden shoes. They're all, uh, they're all unique. They have, all have their own individual characteristics. But I have to say there's, there's something truly special about the 607th uh, AOC here at Osan that sets it apart. You truly are the heartbeat of our air component, our combined air component here on the Korean Peninsula, supporting six bases, nine Department of Defense facilities, and making sure that we really are ready to fight tonight. We're charged to deter aggression, maintain the armistice, to defend the Republic of Korea, and if necessary, defeat any attack against the alliance. For 70 years, the United States and the Republic of Korea has ensured the peace and security of the Korean Peninsula and Northeast Asia. This past year, we witnessed the highest number of missile launches ever out of North Korea. And despite these provocations, the 607th AOC maintained their cool composure. Y'all remained mission focused, adapted, and took any means necessary to protect the 51 million civilians who live across South Korea. I can absolutely say with confidence that the combined air power of the ROCAF and the USAF is the asymmetric force that keeps our neighbor to the north at bay. And the AOC is the conductor that weaves in the multi-domain effects of that combined air power. Under the leadership of Colonel Hokai, you've had a busy year uh, keeping the 607th ready. Coach, under your command, uh, you led the team to create the first integrated uh, multi-domain tasking order which got all the components across the Korean theater operations on the same page and increased targeting efficiency 92%. You truly are an innovation, uh, a champion innovation, created a novel cyber protection program, which allowed the AOC to fuse intelligence and operations protection, uh, protection on their networks and secured the $56 million AOC weapon system. I won't try to say the whole name of it. Um, uh, your championing of innovation has truly set the standard for the United States Air Force uh, network defense. And you led uh, the center of air command and control for four major theater-wide exercises, leading over 2,000 permanent and deployed personnel and executing over 40 air tasking orders, which provide valuable training not only to our combined forces command, but all the other uh, subordinate components. And finally, you stood up a series of real-time uh, real and real-world exercises to uh, work on the, uh, the entire kill web, enabling us to get combined readiness training we need to be able to fight tonight. And you did this in the only truly combined AOC on the globe, working across two languages, cultures, and leadership change. Your leadership helped build partnerships with the ROCAF and stood as a visible sign of our ironclad commitment to the alliance between the Republic of Korea and the United States of America. All that to say, Coach, thanks for your outstanding leadership and vision. Your command of the 607th AOC has ensured a truly incredible conclusion to your Air Force career and left a legacy not only here in Korea, but across all the airmen and families who have been positively, positively impacted by your leadership. We wish you and your family the best of luck as you uh, retire to retire, first retirement to uh, sunny Florida, where he'll get to continue flying Vipers as the chief pilot for top aces. Uh, I'm, I'm jealous. You may get more, I don't know if you're gonna get more flying hours there or here, um, but we wish you blue skies and good luck. And it's my absolute pleasure to welcome uh, to the 607th AOC, Colonel Radar Getke. As a career S-16 pilot with over uh, uh, 2,000 flying hours and 600 combat hours in Iraq and Afghanistan, he's got an incredible reputation, not only as an expert aviator, but a broad operational background and a proven cap capability for leadership both in the cockpit and on staff. He's got a deep background in Korea, last uh, seen in command of the 51st Operations uh, Group here at Osan before he handed over Taboo. Uh, and now I ask you, remember all those times that you said, I wish the AOC would do X. Yes. Well, now you get to fulfill your wishes and make it happen. Uh, I've got no doubt uh, that the leadership and innovation you've shown throughout your career uh, we'll continue here as you lead the 607th Air Operations Center to new heights. And additionally, I'd love to welcome the, uh, uh, the Gekki family to the Sabre family as well. So, thank you. Tebu, I don't know how you and Radar do it. Uh, I don't know how you balance your two just amazing careers, your three children. Uh, it's just amazing the many sacrifices that you all have made to support uh, Ray, uh, Radar. Megan, Anna, and John, uh, and I want to say uh, thank you. Uh, to Megan, Anna, and John, 
Uh, thank you for letting us borrow your dad for the next couple of years. You guys are the why that he continues to serve to create a better world for you to grow up in. Saber One, you're about to embark on the greatest and most rewarding adventure of your life. Today you get to take command of the legendary 607th AOC, the only truly combined AOC in the world, and an amazing team. I have complete confidence in your ability to lead the Sabres to deter, defend, and if necessary, defeat our enemies. I know you're going to make an amazing partner for Brigadier General Lee and uh, our other ROCAF partners as we continue to build the strength of our alliance. On the 70th anniversary year of our defense treaty, our commitment to the, to the alliance remains ironclad. The strength of this alliance is the partnership between our ROCAF brothers in arms. I know you'll carry on the legacy here at Osan. Congratulations, thank you, and kapchi kapchi da. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Brigadier General Keeney presents the Legion of Merit to Colonel Hokai. All those the order. Attention to order. This is to certify that the Legion of Merit First Oak Leaf Cluster has been awarded to Colonel Jason T. Hokai. Colonel Hokai distinguished himself by exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service to the United States as Commander, 607th Air Operations Center, 7th Air Force, Osan Air Base, Republic of Korea, from 7 July 2021 to 23 June 2023. During this period, Colonel Hokai led his team to create the first theater-integrated multi-domain tasking order, creating a shared understanding of the battle space across all military components, and increasing targeting efficiency by 92%. Additionally, Colonel Hokai's leadership was crucial to the creation of a novel cyber protection program, improving the ability of his organization to fuse intelligence and operations to proactively defend friendly computer networks against known threats, securing the $56 million air operations weapon system, and further developing into the standard for United States Air Force network defense. Furthermore, Colonel Hokai directed the worldwide distribution of 607th Air Operations Center operations across six bases and nine facilities with minimal added cost, increasing the survivability of his organization by 46%. Furthermore, Colonel Hokai led over 1,900 combined members in four peninsula-wide exercises to produce and execute over 10 air tasking orders, providing valuable training to Combined Forces Command senior leadership and over 13,000 military and government participants. Finally, Colonel Hokai's leadership was pivotal in standing up a series of real-time and real-world exercises of the entire kill web, enabling intelligence, controllers, and operators to practice and improve on actions they would be expected to perform in critical, time-sensitive fight tonight scenarios, sharpening the alliance between the Republic of Korea and the United States of America. The singularly distinctive accomplishments of Colonel Hokai culminate a distinguished career in the service of his country and reflect great credit upon himself and the United States Air Force. Brigadier General Keeney, please remain standing for the ROCAF award presentation. At this time, Brigadier General Select Lee Hyun Hee, the Commander, Korea Air and Space Operations Center, will present a Republic of Korea Chief of Staff of the Air Force letter of appreciation and plaque to Colonel Hokai. This letter of appreciation and plaque are being presented in recognition of Colonel Hokai's contribution as Commander, 607th Air Operations Center, especially in reinforcing military cooperation and promoting friendship between the Republic of Korea and United States Air Forces with exceptionally distinguished service and dedication.
Thank you, Brigadier General Select Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the commander of 607th Air Operations Center, Colonel Jason Hukai. All right, it's Friday. There might be some audience participation required. We'll see whether we can liven this up just a little bit. Um, anyway, so when you, when you give these speeches, you're always gonna forget somebody to thank. So I've, I've got some people written down, but uh, Major Cook, uh, Pro Joe, uh, Master Sergeant Bilbo, somewhere, there we go, back in the back. Uh, obviously these things don't happen in a vacuum uh, and they're not easy, so thank you for that. Osan Protocol, Osan PA, this is change of command season. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Sergeant Smith, thank you for the excellent narration. Chaplain Tulick, wherever she went, I know she's got other changes, there we go. Other changes of commands to go to. Sergeant Watson Grant, thank you for the anthems, or, or anthem, and Sir Raymond Hurst, thank you for the anthem. All right, uh, Taboo, Megan, Anna, John, thank you for being here. Uh, you guys are amazing and you're continuing on a fantastic journey. Mr. and Mrs. Knopp, nice seeing you again. Yes, we, were, uh, we did a Halloween thing way back in the day, um, so that's awesome. Mr. and Mrs. Getke, thank you for joining us virtually and uh, sir, thank you very much. Well, not thank you, but I'm glad to hear that you're doing better. Uh, Brigadier General Select Lee, sir, thank you. You honor us by being here. Um, let's see, Mr. Shim, our lead good neighbor, Unfortunately, couldn't be here today also for a uh, medical issue, but I want to thank him and I want to thank our Good Neighbor team uh, that has been truly amazing and grown only uh, stronger since I've been here. Not due to me, I'm just saying from Mr. Shim's point of view. Uh, front row, Shady, Amber, thank you. Nice to see you again. Voodoo, Megan, nice to see you. Chief, we just met this morning. Nice to see you again. Uh, <laughs> Ma'am, we haven't met, but nice to see you. <laughs> Group commanders, uh, Jeff, thank you for being here. Sergeant Major, thank you. We've got Space Force somewhere in the house. There we go. All right, um, so I think I've got that all down. Uh, General Keeney, thank you for the, uh, the very kind words. And I really want to thank uh, Lieutenant General Ployce. I know he couldn't be here today, but uh, this is my second time serving for him. Uh, there was going to be a joke about this. So far, Lucky is winning. Uh, a previous change of command, there might have been an indoor ceremony. Maybe the commander of troops passed out twice, uh, but so far that hasn't happened, so we're good. And I'll try to keep this short. Uh, to my family, uh, Dawn, Milana, Harris, I would not be standing up here without you. I appreciate your, com your encouragement. I appreciate your support. I'm looking forward to spending much more time with you. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, so 607th AOC, for the past two years, our vision has been pioneering the future of command and control by dominating all domains through rapid synchronization of joint and combined effects. Our mission has been synchronizing all domain effects by providing the right information to the right people at the right time in order to achieve decision superiority. And our values are, we are a family of families that fight and win together. We are committed to service, built on a foundation of trust with a culture of respect, turning challenges into opportunities and adapting. The 607th AOC team, you guys are truly amazing. Uh, the accolades that you hear up here are not mine, they are yours. Uh, so I wanna say this has truly been an honor uh, being your commander. While the AOC's job is to provide for command and control, people usually think about that as ordering airstrikes from combat aircraft, but we do so much more. We order everybody around if you didn't notice. Multi-domain, yes, Army, Navy, Marines, Guardians, yep, you're under our sights. Um, but getting the right information to the right people at the right time, it sounds very simple, but it is not easy. But you have made it look easy. So I'm gonna highlight a couple things through the squadrons as well as uh, through the divisions. ACOMS, you are the foundation of what the AOC does. We cannot make this fight happen without the support computer support, network support, tactical expertise for the Falconer weapon system. Uh, got it. 
Anyway, uh, but ACOMS, you guys have been truly amazing. Even before I got here, there was a question on whether we could push a full ATO through our systems. By the time we did that first exercise, we had already, you had already solved that problem. Uh, and you just kept on going, again, things already highlighted in the, uh, previously by General Keeney and the Legion of Merit. COBRA, 621st. Okay, we did a newcomers yesterday. There was about half of the people in the newcomers brief were COBRA. So, um, anyway, I know that there's older COBRAs here. So COBRA, 621st. There we go. Fight's on. All right, you have pushed the envelope of tactical C2 in your own version of the talk light. I will always remember sitting out on the flight line, seeing an AMRAP, a Humvee, and then this cool looking bongo truck that was just so inconspicuous, but some radios strapped in the back and some computers in the front, six people rolling around the Korean countryside able to control air. That was truly amazing. Continue to push the tactical edge of the command and control envelope. AMD, the mighty but smallest, probably, uh, well, not probably, but it is, uh, shop within our uh, AOC. Uh, you have probably partnered with our ROCAF partners more seamlessly than any other division out there because we own no aircraft. It is all ROCAF aircraft. And through your help, the ROCAF is now flying a very capable KC-330 and also refueling U.S. Air Force aircraft. You have also uh, helped continue to experiment with and as well as exercise aeromedical evacuation and specifically uh, with your expertise have helped our own 51st Med Group as well as our own uh, folks within the AOC for real world AE missions. Uh, but what I most remember is the last exercise, probably the, the biggest exercise that had a air mobility focus. For some reason, somebody somewhere decided to not send the Brigadier General Director of Mobility Forces. Uh, Meet Costin is sitting out there, uh, Double D, so our AMD chiefs at the time. Uh, so they, these guys acted as that individual and did flawless, flawless work, fantastic work, wonderful work. But what I'm really proud of is a meme hallway. A meme hallway, my friends, that was just a joy to walk down because we were getting beat down every single day by how the exercise planners were changing the exercise so that the air component could not play. Literally, domes of fog that you could not take off from at all. You could land, but you couldn't take off. Uh, amazing how that happens in an exercise world. Uh, but that just goes to show how powerful uh, and asymmet an asymmetric threat the combined air component is. All right, so that's AMD. SRD, Strategy Division. Working, exercising, stretching all of us uh, to include our joint and coalition partners to think broader, working with our partners to make that happen, uh, and then taking the steps to make all of us better. CPD, making distributed ops a reality. In real time, moving an air tasking order and a multi-domain tasking order. Many of the things I'd like to talk about are beyond the classification of this room, but the bottom line is you have made our fighting force more effective, more efficient, with limited resources. My hat's off to you. COD, Combat Ops Division, where the rubber meets the road. If there's ever any screw-ups in the rest of the planning process somewhere up the line, COD is where they have to fix it. Uh, if there's things missing or overlooked, it's COD that has to fix it and make it happen. You happen to be also the most popular location in the AOC. What hasn't been mentioned yet is that, yes, we had two presidents inside the AOC, President Biden, President Yoon, at the same time, uh, looking at the cod floor in our beautiful uh, wall of knowledge, if you will. Um, thank you for your tireless efforts to make that happen and continuing the next level of communication. ISRD, always there. The unblinking eye of intelligence. Um, I can't say enough about how proud I was of the K-pop exercises, they've already been mentioned, but to actually do real-time Intel Collect and do that comm link all the way through to a combat aircraft to get a strike on a target is absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't know that we do that anywhere else in the world the same way we do it here. WSI, a division of civilians, our bedrock, if you will, of continuity, 
You are also the backbone of this organization because you are the support network through training, exercises, and basically taking all those ancillary type of things that must happen to make an organization work and you make it work. And then finally, last but not least, I want to mention two kind of odd organizations, if you will, not necessarily organizations and not really officially uh, anything. The Fangs of War. Yep, the AOC, uh, Cobra, and really all-inclusive Scooter Club. Yep, we went on many rides, we had many adventures, nobody has died, okay? Nobody has died. Maybe some scooters lost some parts, but those are the weak parts. Who needs an exhaust? We love to burn the weeds. We don't need roads, who needs roads? Um, anyway, but the, the Fangs of War, personally for me, uh, our scoots were definitely uh, a welcomed reprieve from the stress of this job, uh, and I really appreciated it. And then finally, uh, last but not least, uh, the 0530 CrossFit crew. Yep, thank you guys very much. Uh, it was always, that was the easiest time I was able to protect in my schedule. Uh, so we made it happen and it, you guys always inspired me uh, and taught me a lot of great things. So with all that being said, I've always had uh, a quote, usually from Malcolm Gladwell, this will not be any different. The key to good decision making, or it, to good decision making is not knowledge, it's understanding. In combining all of that together, what I want to say is that this AOC, and kind of alluded to by General Keeney, this AOC has the ability to navigate not one, but multiple cultures. And by one, I mean United States Air Force. But it's not just that. It's ROCAF, it's USFK, it's CFC, and all of the permutations. And we are able, and you as a team, have inspired everyone to make and take knowledge and make it understanding so that we can move better, faster, and more efficiently to take the fight north if we ever had to. Sabres, you do this better, better than any other organization I've ever been a part of, and I'm proud and honored to serve you. And finally, Radar, we have good history together. Um, thank you so much for being here. Taboo, again, thank you for being here, and the kids as well. Uh, I know the AOC is going to continue to grow and thrive under your leadership. The Get Key household is never quiet. As again, we've talked about two commands, wing level command, group level command, simultaneously with three kids. Uh, if what I said is simple but not easy, none of that is simple and none of that is easy. Uh, so my hat's off to you. Uh, as a prior joint spouse, I can understand those challenges uh, and we appreciate it. So this Sabre family is ready to accept you and you are ready to take it to the next level. Radar, my hat's off to you. I really appreciate it. Sabres, thank you very much. And one final time, this is audience participation now. I'm prepping you. Get ready. Sabres! Shoot them now! for the outstanding leadership provided by Colonel Lokai. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the official change of command. Attention to order. Special order number AG-081737. By order of Lieutenant General Scott Ployce, Commander, 7th Air Force, Colonel Jason Hokai relinquishes command of the 67th Air Operations Center, Osan Air Base, Republic of Korea, to Colonel Matthew Getke, effective 23 June 2023.
gentlemen, I present the new commander of the 607th Air Operations Center, Colonel Matthew Gecki. So uh, I'm going to start, uh, we had a conversation before, before we began that something was going to go wrong in these ceremonies, because something always does. Um, and I'm not sure if I've actually seen it yet. So I'll just remind myself, in the words of Ted Lasso, to be a goldfish. There's a reasonable chance that two-year-old's going to come running up here any second. I'm going to be brief, because we're almost out of, uh, of fruit snacks. So, uh, uh, Crow Joe's, thank you for putting this together. Squawk and Sergeant Bilbo, uh, thank you for the anthem singers, uh, Chaplin. Sergeant Smith, thanks for narrating. The, uh, can't, can't, uh, can't do that one well enough. Lucky, thanks for uh, leading the formation. Uh, and doing it well. Thank you to the Honor Guard. I'm sure they've departed to the next thing. Uh, General Select Lee, thank you for being here, sir. I look forward to, to working with you, um, as well as the, the good neighbors, um, Mr. Lim, uh, Ms. Kim, and uh, uh, Mr. Lim, my old good neighbor, thank you for being here as well. Uh, Mustang One, and we'll just say the Bobs from Team Osan, uh, Army, ASOG, uh, AOC, 7th Air Force staff, I'm working my way farther back there. Space Force, um, we're pretty far back at that point. Thank you all for being here. Um, I truly appreciate it. Um, thank you. Uh, let's see, Taboo, uh, Megan, Anna, John. I'm looking at you, John, right here. Thanks for uh, starting a new adventure for, uh, with us. We've got a new uh, sign, counter sign to learn. So you all are used to the ops group, Harumph, Pilsung, and Breathing Fire. Uh, so now it's Saber, Shoot Him Down. You heard that, right? So we've got to work on that one. We'll add it to the repertoire. Um, I'm proud to be an Air Force family with you. Um, and yes, uh, one more time, there will be cake afterwards. So uh, tighten up, John. Uh, Ms. Annalyn, thank you for doing this. We couldn't do it without you. Uh, Joe and Nancy, thanks for traveling to, to all of these ceremonies. Thanks for extending your stay this time um, to see this one and enduring the stomach bug that came with it. Um, I think they're over it. Um, just in case anyone would shake their hand afterwards. Mom and Dad, I know you wish you could be here. Uh, my dad's recovering from, uh, from surgery, um, but I'm glad that recovery's going well. General Keeney uh, and, on, uh, on, and General Ployce, thanks for the confidence in me um, and the trust, particularly because you know me. Um, I find that uh, a little surprising, uh, but I will do my best. Um, Coach. Uh, this is the, the second time I've gotten to work uh, with you. Um, in the last few days, um, I'm struck again uh, by your relentless uh, care for people, and so thank you. I have, I have worked in organizations uh, led by Coach Hokai, um, and I'm proud uh, and humbled to accept the baton from you uh, in the 607. Uh, sometime, we'll uh, get together and get, and get all the old cars together uh, down in Florida. I look forward to that, and I wish you, Don, uh, Milan, and Harris the best uh, in your transition to uh, beach life. Okay, uh, as I wrap up, uh, I'm reminded that uh, 73 years ago on Sunday, the Korean War started. Uh, today, we stand as part of a long line of joint war fighters uh, that have stood shoulder to shoulder uh, with our allies here in South Korea, um, an alliance that uh, has been mentioned is 70 years old this year, um, and stared down uh, an adversarial regime to the north. I'm proud today to join this team uh, and continue that legacy. Kapshi uh, kapshi da, let's get after it. the members of the 607th Air Operations Center would like to render their first salute to the new 607th Air Operations Center commander, Colonel Getke. Thank you, Colonel Getke. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today for the 607th Air Operations Center Change of Command. In keeping with Air Force tradition, please stand and join us in singing the Air Force song and remain standing for the departure of the official party.
concludes today's ceremony. Please join us for a reception and light refreshments, welcoming Colonel Getke and his family to the side of the seating area.